Hey, I keep getting some of the same questions again and again and again. So I wanted to address it to you all. Um, this is some kitchen talk. The lighting is terrible. But anyway, um, I, everybody keeps asking, is it a good time to sell? Well, it really depends on your circumstances. If you are happy where you are and you don't intend to sell probably for the next two to five years and you have a great interest rate, it's probably good to stay put. The best client or the best circumstance I would say to sell right now is probably those of you whose kids have graduated from high school, you're in a bigger house and you want to be, and you want to um, reap the benefits of the equity that you have. So, and you have an option of where to go. That's always a big question. Where are we going to go? So right now, um, the new construction market has turned 180 degrees. They are all about us bringing our um, potential clients to them. They have houses that did not sell, that fell apart because of the interest rate. And the people who were under contract, who had already sold their home, um, could no longer afford these homes that they were building because the interest rate has basically doubled plus um, in the last 60 days. So to build a home, usually it takes eight months to a year. Right now, there are specs that are sitting out there that specs meaning they've already started them. Some of them are already finished. So you may not be able to pick out some of the finishes or whatever that you want, but these builders are offering incentives. They're offering you know, 3% in closing costs. They're finishing the basement. They are offering, the coolest thing is a buy down. So if with interest rates a little bit higher, they have lenders that are working with um, the buyers now to buy down their loan and bring their interest rate well beyond, well below, I guess I should say, what is um, on the market available right now to have a lock-in for. So I just want you guys to consider if you have your kid graduated and you're in the McMansion and you think you want to sell it, it's a good time to do so now because the comps were over, what do I say, overinflated. The closings um, that happened in the last year were overinflated values because people were bringing money over the appraised value to the table. So, and, and they were bringing cash over the appraised value to the table and that cash is reflected in the sale price and the comps. So those are the comps that are gonna go away now in six months. So if if you are entertaining or considering selling your house and you really want a spot on number, I need to see your house. I can't just wing it and um, go by the comps that are out there. It just is a smarter move for me to physically come to the house, put my eyes on it, see what kind of upgrade you guys have done. A lot of you have responded, told me you put a new roof on new HVAC system, whatever. That's amazing. That does bring value to your home, to an appraisal. But the most important thing is really just to put my eyes on the lay of the land and your home. And then we can find solid comps and decide whether to put your house on the market for sale or not. Um, this bubble has been since 2012. So keep in mind, you know, all things come around, go around, come back around. So this 2012 bubble has lasted, you know, 10 years. We don't know what's going to happen over the next couple of years, whether interest rates are really going to uh, affect the slowdown of our values also, because people cannot buy a home and with the interest rates so high and bring money to the table over the appraised value. That's not happening anymore. So those values that were overinflated are now going to level out. They're going to be the appraised value um, and the prices are going to start declining as far as the actual sale prices because they were artificially inflated for the last two years, three years really. So keep that in mind. And if you guys, if you think you want to sell, I think that it's a good idea. Just let's just brainstorm and let's just see what your options are. Um, to me, it's not a good time to sell if you have an amazing interest rate and you don't really know where you're going to go. You don't know what you're going to do. You don't know that you really do want to downsize and not pay that high electric bill. You don't need the pool anymore. And, but if you're happy and you're content where you are, I should, I should think it's probably the best bet to stay there. So I just wanted to real quick run over. Um, I got a market watch for the 22407 
Um, and the average sales price now in this 22407 area is 390. So basically 391. The typical value uh, one year ago was 363. So it's still up a little bit, but it's going to start falling off because it was artificially inflated. Um, the forecast for the values decrease is probably just 0.5% over the next year. And then right now in 22407, we have 183 homes that are on the market and 76 of them sold. So those numbers are really low. They're crazy low, but obviously you all know that at this time of the year, everything slows down a little bit. Less people put their house on the market because of the holidays, they have company, whatever. But my thought on that is it is a good time to sell now because again, we have been insanely low on our inventory. But this time of the year too, just keep in mind, because the inventory is already low and people are holding back a little bit to wait for the holidays to um, be over with, to put their house on the market, it's even a better time to list if you're gonna do so. It takes a little strategy, you guys. We cannot just put something out there at the highest value that you want to walk away with. We have to be thoughtful and mindful of getting as many people through your door as possible your house can no more be lipstick on the pig put out there. It's going to have to be ready and it's going to have to be cute. We have trades. We have people that can help you all day long. Um, we just need to think about it and do it strategically. We've sold over the last two years um, probably 120 houses. So we have this figured out. But every week you have to adjust to the market. You have to adjust to what's happening in our economy. So there's a couple other um, influencing factors right now. So it's just time to be mindful and thoughtful of what it is you're doing. And we're here to help you in any manner or form that we can. And we're boots on the ground. You guys have to remember that. We're boots on the ground experienced um, agents who see the market every day in our faces. So if there's any questions we can ask, no obligation. Um, if you wanna know your options, we can do like a plan and sort out the options that are in front of you. If you're, um, one more thing too, if you're elderly and you need to start downsizing or start thinking of an alternative plan, don't wait too long. Um, we've had some really bad experiences, not us, but helping people that have waited too long. So anyway, y'all, hope you have a great one. Happy fall. It's here. You know, we go from like summer to fall or winter, basically. <laughs> anyway, hope you're having a great one. This is 10-5, um, October 5th already. So anyway, we'll just keep watching the market. Anything I can do to answer any questions, don't hesitate. Bye, y'all.